Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning, beloved. I welcome you this morning to Healing and Prayer Revival Hour with Apostle and Mrs. May. I would do it that you're right here on this uh, Amaya Television channel. Hallelujah. And if you're watching on Facebook, I welcome you to um, Praise the Living God. And for those of you who are right here with me, I welcome you, e e each and every one of you also. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Father, for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of health. We give you praise, Lord Jesus. We give you glory. We magnify your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Cleanse us, Lord, from every lie of Satan we've held on to or viewed that to. In the name of Jesus Christ, make us clean as white as snow. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, let your presence fill this place up. Let your power, mighty God, fill this place right now. Stretch your mighty hands, Jesus. Save the lost, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, and set the captives free. Take authority over principalities and powers in the air and on the land around this vicinity and around this territory right now, around the lives of each and every one that is connected right now. Bind every power of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. For it is written that at the name of Jesus, at the mention of that name called Jesus, 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 that name, Jesus, Jesus, it's a powerful name, it's a mighty name, and it's the only name that destroys demons. At the mention of that name, it is written that every knee must bow, and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. No matter what it is, Jesus is subjecting that challenge, subjecting that demon to hell right now, in the name of Jesus. Every sickness, every discomfort in my body, in your body, is arrested today in the name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Sweet Holy Spirit, refill us afresh, revive us this morning in Jesus' name. Beloved, before we go properly into the prayer session, I want to say something about the power that we have. The power that I'm carrying and the power that you're carrying. I may not feel it. In fact, I, I can't even feel it right now. And I'm very certain that you also definitely may not be feeling anything right now. But we have to trust His Word. We have to trust that what He says in His Word is true. Praise God. Now, Jesus says something about the Word of God. He says, My Word are spirit and they are life. For instance, let me just read out something simple. Practically, praise God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Okay, Mark chapter 16 from verse 15 to 18 and verse 20. He said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. And they went forth and preached everywhere. And the Lord working with them, confirming the word with signs following. Amen. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Now, this word I just read is the word, right? You can't see it. That you can't really see. You may not really see it with your senses of your... You know, it, it, it's not something like, okay, like, this is a bottle of oil, right? 
I can see it, I can feel it, I can touch it. Now, this is a word. This word I just read is a spirit. That's what Jesus Christ is saying. My words are spirit and they are life. It's a spirit and it's a life-giving spirit. Meaning, if there's a situation of death, this word can quicken that situation and life can be released. Hallelujah. I don't want to go too much in details. But I'm just saying all this to increase your faith. To stir up your faith. And make you believe in your heart. That every word of God that you hear contains life-giving force and power. And may the living God quicken our spirits this morning by His word. And as we pray unto Him, we believe that our prayers and our requests shall be a manifestation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Once more, I am Apostle and Mrs. May. I will do a Dache. That is my name. Hallelujah. I am an Apostle of the Gospel, called of God as an Apostle by the Spirit of Holiness. Hallelujah. And I am also a mother. That is why Mrs. is also there. That's my name. Hallelujah. And I am an Apostle of the Living God, and I talk about Jesus Christ. I love Him so much. He saved me. He healed me, He delivered me, He empowered me, and I'm here to testify about that and also to be a vessel in His hand through which your life can be blessed this morning in Jesus' name and forever. Hallelujah. So, there is a quick word I want us to um, talk about this morning briefly before we go to the prayer session. Jesus Christ said, Behold, I give unto you power. We need to become aware that we are carrying power. To everyone who believes in that name, Jesus. Jesus is saying this morning, Behold, I give unto you power to thread on serpents and to thread on scorpions. Serpents and scorpions could be demons. Serpents and scorpions could be the difficult challenge and temptations and trials in your life. He said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and to tread on scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. Then he says, Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Praise the living God. I am carrying power, you are carrying power. And with this power, we have authority to overcome all the powers of the devil with the assurance that nothing can hurt us. With the assurance that nothing shall by any means hurt us. Hallelujah. God is faithful. He cannot lie. It is just impossible for God to lie. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. Now David says, what is man that you are mindful of him? Or the son of man that you visit him. You have made him a little lower than the angels. You visit him and you put the devil under his feet. The power and the authority that God has given to us puts the devil under our feet. Praise the living God. And that makes us overcomers. That makes us kings. That makes us priests. That makes us queens. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning. The power of this word shall be made manifest in our lives today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today we shall walk in complete and total victory over every power of Satan. Over all his manipulations through the body. Over all his manipulations through the flesh. Over all his manipulations, through the air, through the land, through the sea, over all the devil's manipulations, contrary to the promise and to the will of God for our lives, we are walking in power and we are walking in authority over every power of Satan today in the name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. The heavens are open over us in the name of Jesus Christ, spiritually, financially, physically, and every other aspect. In the name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Mashaka bragadagalaga bagadagabaga. Liko bragadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagad
must bow to that name Jesus. Every affliction must bow to that name Jesus. Every temptation must bow to that name Jesus in our lives today. In the name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, because it is done. Thank you, Jesus, because it is done. Thank you, Jesus, because it is done. Testimony shall abound to the glory of your name today in our life. Abba Father, mighty God, glorious God, miracle working God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our thoughts shall line up with your words. Our words shall line up with your promises. Our actions shall line up with your promises, our Father, today, in the name of Jesus. And there shall be a difference. Today shall be better than yesterday. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today shall be better than yesterday. In the name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Thank you, Jesus. Congratulations. Send your testimonies. Mayaldo at gmail.com. That's my email address. You can call me on plus two three four nine one five four one five zero one hundred in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you're not born again today is the day of salvation. You repeat this prayer of some weeks if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That is the beginning of life. You cannot claim the promises of God if you are not born again. So you will this prayer for me. Lord Jesus, I confess I am a sinner. I receive your forgiveness. Make me a new person. Today is a new beginning in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And your sins are forgiven. You receive the grace, you receive the power to live your life to the glory of God. In Jesus' name. Amen.